Well, welcome back to Off The Grid with Bert. Today's video is in relation to these Bayran burner air compressors. Um, we've had several fail recently because they get too damn hot. Um, now, it hasn't been such a huge issue with the STW120 because its compressors mounted directly to the end of the motor and a fair bit of the heat gets dissipated into the motor. Um, nonetheless, they still run pretty hot. So the solution was to put cooling fins onto the compressor housing. To do this, I used aluminium angle available from most hardware stores. Um, this one in question is uh, 10 by 25 millimeters. We can get that to focus. Uh, and then basically you measure the circumference of the pump housing. Um, and I think I ran 10 millimeter uh, intervals for where the cuts were to go. Uh, use 10 snips, cut the fins into slots into the angle, and then it very neatly bent round the compressor housing, and then it was been secured with a stainless steel hose clamp, large diameter one. Now these little fins take a fair bit of the heat and um, dissipate it off. Um, they've got a twist on them, the twist helps with natural convection and allows the heat to move off of each one without heating up the following one. And as a result, this pump runs a heck of a lot cooler. The temperature of the air coming out of this line here is a lot cooler. Um, I've actually had a couple of these lines get so hot, you can't hold them. Um, I'm also looking into getting billet ends made up for them, getting rid of this plastic nonsense uh, because they leak and they warp out of shape. Um, not to mention where the gauge and pressure adjuster are, they tend to want to crack down the side if you, you know, especially if you put Teflon tape on this gauge when you put it in, it'll crack the housing. I always recommend using this kind of stuff here, pressure rated lock seal which is a kind of Loctite. Uh, you could use Loctite too, but just don't use the thread locking type. Just use the sealing type. Um, you could also probably use um, that plumber's uh, goop as well. I forget the name of it. But yeah, um, this, this has been the solution. Now these pumps come in much larger sizes for the bigger models. And for that, you would probably need uh, 20 by 40 millimeter aluminium angle to make fins up. But yeah, this this stuff this stuff's good. It's extruded um, aluminium, so it's uh, it's nice and tough, and it'll tend not to corrode. Um, anyone's interested in the sizes? There it is at the end. It's actually 12 millimeter. I think I said 10, but yeah, uh, 1.6 millimeters thick. Comes in one meter lengths. You can also get it in three meter lengths if you're doing a few of them. Well, I can't recommend this modification enough. Um, this, these pumps are just. I've spoken to or sent numerous emails about this problem to Bay Run, and they don't give a they don't give a toss. Um, it's very frustrating because uh, there's a problem with these pumps and they just refuse to address the situation. And it's making the the whole idea of having the built-in compressor undesirable. Um, I just wish that they would take my advice and fix the problem. You know, this is pretty easy to do. Um, the other alternative that we've been looking at also is to wrap two or three turns of copper tube. Uh, so basically where the oil goes into the tank, you'd run your tube around, that uh, braided line would go 
on here onto a fitting around the pump and then around into the tank so you're sort of preheating your oil a little bit as well that's the other alternative i haven't tried that experiment yet um but yeah for this little one the the aluminium's working perfectly it's got the pump temperature stand to about 40 degrees prior to putting these fins on these pumps will run 80 degrees plus um, and the bearings that are in the back of them um, they basically get too hot and the grease starts to melt out and then they run dry and then they fail once the bearing fails the rotor then loses its alignment inside and you can chip the vanes score the housing and they just don't pump anymore got one on its way back here at the minute which I'm going to see if it can be machined uh, to get the scoring out of it but yeah if you don't if you've got an air compressor on your in your shed or whatever I'd recommend just getting the air compressor one the, the non non uh, compressor version because you're going to save a whole heap of problems these things use such a small amount of air that your compressor would be lucky to cut on and off every 10 minutes depends on the size of course um for the convenience of the compressor um it, it is a good idea in theory but until we can get these problems nutted out with them or at least until bay run comes to the table and starts to come up with a solution such as this i would recommend going for the non-compressor version if you want to get the compressor version and you want to do this fin idea then it should be fine don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next vid.